Love the jacket. Thank you. The small wheels. Very cool. Goodbye, my son. My hopes and dreams travel with you. You'll be an outcast. I'll kill him. How? You'll be a god to them. You didn't recognize me. I, I didn't recognize you? No. I'm Alex Montier. It's because of the eyeglasses. I the think. eyeglasses, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are you, man? I'm very well, thanks. How are you? Henry Cavill in Mexico. How do you feel to be here? Um, it's, it's great to be here. I wish I had more time to explore and sort of soak up the culture, but unfortunately, work is calling me away today and only arrived last night. Yeah, yeah. Superman, uh, what does he represent as a, as a hero for you, as a superhero? Um, well, it's obvious, hope. It, it's, it's what superheroes do represent, especially Superman. Um, he's sort of the granddaddy of all superheroes, and literally, this on his chest means hope. And we all kind of tie, tie into that. And hope is one thing which will be important to human society forevermore. What's the S stand for? It's not an S. On my world, it means hope. Well, here it's an S. How about... Excuse me. So I was aware of the story of Superman. Um, and when I got the movie, it was all about focusing very hard on going to the source material and studying in more detail. Mm -hmm. And what do you, how do you feel to be the new Superman? Because some people said it's a curse for the right. actors. Um, I, I, I don't worry about any idea of a curse. I, 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 I put no heed to the curse purely because um, look at Dean Cain, Brandon Ruth and Tom Willing. They're in perfect health and they're happy and well. Yeah, yeah. And are you prepared for the Justice League? Uh, Justice League, if it happens, um, I would be, yes, if the script is good and, and we have a great filmmaker attached and, and a, as much care and attention is put into that as they put into Man of Steel. Which other uh, superheroes do you want to, uh, would you like to uh, see to watch in that movie? If oh, uh, well that's a good question and I can't really answer it because to get to that movie you'd have to introduce the various superheroes through potentially other movies or at least paired movies mm -hmm. and so it all depends on how those are played because it's very much a stage of evolution with these characters and I think depending on how the character is evolved and depending on how the character translates to screen matters very much who finally gets chosen for the Justice League. Do you have some favorites besides Superman? Besides Superman? Um, that's a tough one. Uh, because they all represent such different things and uh, my head has been so much in Superman in the sense that sort of I, I, I've been exploring the character so much it's difficult for me to see other favorites if I had to pick I would probably say Batman Batman's a great superhero and I have to believe that you were sent here for a reason and even if it takes the rest of your life you owe it to yourself to find out what that reason is I was surprised because this movie have a lot of destruction, like no superhero movie before. <laughs> There's some massive destruction. How do you do that? All with the green screen, or you really fight, or just the computer? Uh, it's it's with green screen. Um, they we do fight scenes in real sets and everything. We do fight scenes in in real environments, and we add destruction. Um, it's a very complex process in post-production and takes a lot of thought and attention during shooting. And so the guys who are involved in all of that, DJ, Zach, the producers, a lot of care and attention was, was applied to this. And um, I'm glad because when you involve some, someone as powerful as Superman and someone equally as powerful as Superman going head to head, it's not going to be a pretty thing. Things will get broken. For some, he was a guardian angel. For others, a ghost who never quite fit in. You will give the people of Earth an ideal to strive towards. The, the most important question, I think, is where the hell is the Superman's underwear? Um, in the same place as everyone else. <laughs> Why don't you put this, this uh, thing with you? Oh no. Yeah, you should. That's a tradition. You're not going to put those Just, on. No, I, I'm, I'm going to put. Oh dear. Okay. And then it got weird. Yeah. <laughs> Look for the next one. 
for the second movie. Yep, I think I think you could I'll, possibly I'll play the character. Good. Yeah, I, I, I could be the, the new. Yeah, you, you're, you're like Bizarro. Perfect. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I could be the. Yeah, Superman you could be Bizarro. Yeah. yeah. What about that thumb the fight? I'm okay to pass on the old thumb fight. Thank you. I don't <laughs> know if I should touch you after putting those on. <laughs> <risa> pues esta es la nueva propuesta de un Superman de Zack Snyder Un Superman producido por Christopher Nolan Un Superman más cabrón, barbón, sudoroso Que no le da miedo ensuciarse las manos Ya está el hombre de acero ¿Será el inicio para llegar a la Liga de la Justicia? Yo soy Alex Montiel Síganme en el Twitter, pasen a chido Y nos vemos en el cine Por cierto, no te pierdas el especial de la Liga de la Justicia Porque platicamos puros fanáticos profesionales Sobre todos los rumores alrededor de esta cinta Ben Affleck para la Linterna Verde. No, no, Demasiado no, guapo, ¿no? Él también ya destruyó, él también destruyó un personaje muy querido. En no me importa que se haya ganado un Oscar, es un pésimo actor. Destruyó los Oscars. Pero tomó una Super sabia decisión, ¿eh? Le ofrecieron dirigir Superman y dijo no. No, también le ofrecieron la Liga de la Justicia a él y a los Wachowski. A mí también me ofrecieron otra copa ayer y dije no. Sí, no voy a Hay que saber decir no a veces. Sí. Ok, vamos con Flash. 